Hi, so this is going to be a follow-up video to my time lapse of building this coop right here. And so I'm just going to be showing the steps we did to build it as well as what it looks like now. And I'm also going to be showing some behind the scenes footage too. So originally we were going to be using concrete blocks to support wooden posts that the coop was built on, but we changed the plan to be using a full foundation. The posts are actually drilled about two feet into the ground so that they're held steady, and then we poured the foundation over the middle of that and it is really solid. So we don't have a water tap out here, so when we decided to go with concrete, we filled this big 400 gallon water tank and then brought it out here on the trailer and parked it just in front of the coop here, and then we could have water to mix with the concrete. Before we poured the concrete slab, we first put down a form of made of wood in a square, and then we put down some gravel as well to just be as a base for the, for the concrete. And then we put some rebar pieces and chicken wire mesh to support the concrete and prevent it from cracking or reduce the chance of cracking. So around the bottom here is where we put the form for the concrete and then we just poured it in. We used a mixing machine to make the process a lot easier. I think it took about 40 or 50 bags of concrete to actually have enough to finish this. Once we got the concrete pad poured, for some reason the donkeys like to come in and stand on it. So anyway, I got a few pictures of that. After the concrete was all dry, the next step was to do the framing for the coop. And I'll just show you that around here. I'll show you how the framing was done. It was done basically the same as a house. We used two by four studs here for the walls, and then as well as the window area, and then also the frame around the door. So after this framing section was finished, I didn't actually end up filming the next step because I didn't know it was being done at the time and I just wasn't out here with my camera. And so the plywood was put up over the building. So for the final video, I just used some panning shots of the plywood already on the building. That way I could kind of see the steps. But I didn't actually get to show that part very much. On the inside, it's pretty simple. It's just plywood pieces screwed down over the wood framing. Another thing that's important to have in a coop with birds is a perch. And so for that, we just used a tree branch that we just found on the ground nearby and screwed it in on the sides. And this is big enough for all the guineas we have living in here to sit on at night. And then the geese live on the floor because they don't fly. Also, this is how the roofing is installed. It's just these rafters along the top attached with these metal brackets. There's already cobwebs in here. This is only built a month ago. <laughs> And then on top of all the wood are these sheet metal pieces. This was actually old metal, so it had holes in it, but we just filled those with caulking and it keeps the water out just fine. For the outside metal, we used the same exact metal as the roof, and then I just painted everything red to finish it off. So after the tube itself was finished, the next thing we did was build an aviary on the outside of the door right here, and that allows the birds to be contained until we're ready to let them out. And it's also good for guineas because they can learn to come back to the coop at night if they're enclosed for a few weeks before they're let out to free range. To build the aviary, we pounded in T-posts around the outside of the coop here on this one side, and then we put welded fence wire around the T-posts and then installed the gate as well as chicken wire on the top to keep predators out and keep the birds inside. So these are the guineas that live in here right now, and they're just staying in here for a few weeks until they can learn to come back to the coop at night and then they'll be ready to go out in free range like the other guineas we have over here. We also have some geese that live in this coop with the guineas and those free range during the day. So that's pretty much it for the building process I showed in the time lapse video. So now I'll just show you a couple of the things that I didn't include in the time lapse video that we've done since I finished the video. One thing I didn't show very much in the time lapse video is that the bottom of the main door is this small door that can be opened to allow the birds to come outside without opening the main door. It's handy to have that small door because then we can open it and let the birds out without the donkeys getting in and getting to the food. Speaking of the donkeys, I thought I'd show them a bit closer up since they only made an appearance for a couple seconds in the time lapse video. One other thing we've done to the coop since I finished the time lapse video was put these wire mesh pieces below the roof right here which will help keep predators out. Through most of the building process, I was using my GoPro camera on a tripod, and it was also plugged into the power. We actually have power out here. I had that plugged in so the camera could run all day long without having to change the batteries. And I just picked various locations for it, depending on what we were filming. Most of the time, it was behind the coop right here on a tripod, like during the concrete pouring. Other times, I had it mounted to this wire, just looking at the view toward the coop like this. So this is how I do my panning shots. I turn the tripod really slowly with the GoPro on it, 
and that allows me to get the panning shots I use for transitions. So I just have the camera here and I just slowly push the camera down by just pushing with my thumb right on the stick. The camera is slowly panning up. So that's about it for the follow-up video of the coop building time lapse. Hope you found that interesting. I'm planning to make a lot more non-time lapse videos soon, especially during this winter. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you'll get notified as soon as I upload them.